children we meet again in part 5 of data handling we had completed exercise 5.1 and four types of graphs also we have completed pictogram bar graph double bar graph and histogram now in this part we are going to learn about pie chart or a circle graph what is a pie chart or a circle graph you can see the picture itself the information represented in the circle in a circular form in a circle is called a circle graph or we call it as pie chart it call we call it as pie chart now you can see here in this picture the time spent by a child during a day so this whole circle represents one day the whole circle represents one day that means how many hours in a day 24 hours so this whole circle represents 24 hours from that the child is spending 8 hours for sleeping 6 hours in school 3 hours playing 3 hours in other work and 4 hours in doing homework so this is how the time I mean the child is spending his 24 hours when we add this 8 plus 6 14 plus 6 20 plus 4 24 hours so one whole this is a whole and these are its parts now each part is called sector in this pie chart each such parts of the circle they are called sector and this whole circle and its relationship between its parts is represented by a pie chart or a circle graph in this circle graph it is a total population the whole circle represents the number of people in the town total number of people in the town then they are divided into groups that is from 15 to 60 years of age belongs 50,000 of people belongs to 50 to 60 years of age 30,000 people are of the age group 0 to 40 and 60 years and above there are 20,000 people so the whole circle represents total number of people and these are the parts that means from 60, 15 to 60 years 50,000 people so this is a sector this is one part another part and the third part so let's see the definition the data which is represented by dividing the circle into sectors is known as pie chart or a circle graph now a circle graph shows the relationship between the whole and its part between the whole and its part now the size of each sector size this is one sector the size of each sector is proportional to the information it represents for example in the above graph now what does this mean size of each sector that means it is represented by a fraction that is the size of each sector means the value of the sector that is 8 hours upon the total number of hours total number of hours is 24 let's see for example in the above graph size of the sector for hours spent in sleeping that is number of sleeping hours upon whole day which is 8 upon 24 that is equal to 1 upon 3 here the whole day is a whole circle is a whole part and number of sleeping hour is the part of the whole circle now can you tell me the size of the sector for hours spent in schools how many hours are spent in school six so what should be the size of the sector can you tell me yes 
number of hours school hours spent in school upon the whole day and that is equal to what that is equal to 6 upon 24 and that is equal to 1 upon 4 now children see this 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 4 they are called fractions of the circle they are called fraction of the circle you know fraction is a part of a whole it is a part of a whole so this is 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 4 are the fraction of the circle and they are also known as the size of the sector now let's move take one example find the fraction of the circle representing each of the following information in the given pie chart so you have to find the fraction of the circle fraction means size of the sector size of the sector fraction of the circle representing each of the following information given in the pie chart now here it is given in percentage now we know that percentage the total percentage value of the percentage is what 100 so now fraction of the circle representing walk is equal to 40% 40% means out of 100 40 that is 40 upon 100 here straight away you will take 100 as the whole part is it clear so total 40 upon 100 that is equal to 2 upon 5 now again this fraction of the circle representing bus or car again 40% so 40 upon 100 2 upon 5 now you have to remember what you have to remember is now this 20% is the third part so let us take the third part fraction of the circle representing cycle which is 20% that is 20 upon 100 which is equal to 1 upon 5 now remember this addition of everything all the fraction should come to 1 why because it is they are the part of a whole so sum of the fractions of all the sector of the circle is equal to 1 2 upon 5 plus 2 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5 will be equal to 5 upon 5 and that is equal to 1 denominators are common so you take a common denominator 5 2 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 5 upon 5 that is equal to 1 now we will take one example of your textbook that is example 1 adjoining pie chart adjoining pie chart means this pie chart gives the expenditure in percentage it has given the expenditure in percentage 15% 25% 10% 15 20 and 5% on the various items and savings of the family during a month on now first question is on which item the expenditure was maximum so in which item the expenditure was maximum so just see here transport 5 house rent 10 15 25 is on food so expenditure is maximum on food second question expenditure on which item is equal to the total savings of the family to the total savings of the family what is the savings expenditure 15 and which other expenditure is also 15% education for children so expenditure on education of the children is same as the savings isn't it that is as the savings of the family now the third if the monthly saving of the family is 3000 if the monthly saving of the family is 3000 what is the monthly expenditure on clothes now 15% represent how much 3000 so 15% is equal to 3000 then 10% is equal to how much isn't it so therefore 10% represent 3000 upon 15 into 10 here it will be cross multiplication one statement here you can equate it 
Fifteen percent is rupees three thousand. Then ten percent is how much? Is it clear? If the monthly saving of the family is three thousand, so saving is three thousand. That means fifteen percent is equal to three thousand. So if fifteen percent is equal to three thousand, then ten percent is equal to how much? So when we cross multiply ten into three thousand upon fifty, and you get the answer rupees two thousand. So I hope you are clear with the pie chart. Are you clear with the pie chart? Yes. Now we will learn in the next part something more about pie chart.